Trading viewers everywhere, today's video is going to showcase a brand new drawing tool that has come to the platform. Now, when you're on the chart, just follow these instructions to get started. Hover your mouse over the annotation tools and click to expand the menu. And then there is the new table drawing tool. You can see it right here with this little new tag. Go ahead and click that. Now you know the tool has been activated because it's highlighted in blue. The first thing now you want to do is pick a location where you want to place this table. So I'm going to go ahead and click down here at the bottom right, where I now have this nifty table. I've got a three by three table, meaning I have three columns and three rows. And the key thing here is to know that like every tool on TradingView, you have quite a few ways to customize this specific table. But before I show you the ways we can customize this table, let me just walk you through a real world example of how you could use this in your research, in your analysis and more. Now, as you can see, I'm looking at a chart of the total crypto market cap. And as usual, I could perform technical analysis. I could write specific annotations. I could really do anything of the sort. And while I am performing that level of analysis, I can utilize the table to keep track of my analysis, notes, or maybe trades that I have in mind. So for example, maybe I want to make a table that just quickly tracks some trades I'm making right on the chart. So here I might have the date. I'm recording this video in 2025 of January. So perhaps I have specific dates of trades that I am looking to track. And I'm just going to write those dates out as such. So here's the date, dates column essentially. Then here I can have the symbol that I'm trading. So let's just say BTC. Well, let's actually write, let's write the symbol name. How about we really just keep this exact. Let's do BTC. Let's do ETH and let's do soul. And then here we can have our entry price. Let's say we had 99,000, 3,000, and let's say 180. So just like that, we've created a custom table for our needs about some recent trades we've had while watching the total crypto market cap. Now, just with any drawing tool, you can do all sorts of things with this table as you get started with it. So first of all, if you hover your mouse over any point and click and hold, you can move the table around your chart to a specific location that makes sense to you. Secondly, you have these tools to expand the table to make it larger or smaller as needed. Now, depending on, depending on your screen size or where you want the table to be, well, you're going to want to expand it as needed. In addition, what I think is rather important is you can copy this drawing tool as well and take it with you to any chart that you're interested in. So if you wanted to watch Bitcoin trade at 103,000 with your latest trade in mind at 99,000, you can do that. And now you always know your exact entry price relative to the current price. A really handy tool just for tracking some trades that you made. But keep in mind, you can add anything in this table. I'll give you another example shortly once I finish going through this table in detail. Now, if you select the table, as I have done here, you can also custom customize the width of each column as needed, which you can see I'm doing here, you want to just hover your mouse over the column line, click and hold and then expand it. That means each column can have separate widths as needed. You might be writing specific pieces of information within this table that might require some columns to be longer than others. Well, you can do that. Also, you can, of course, change the height of each row as well. So if your row has a lot of text in it, keep in mind, we could add countless text to this. If we wanted to actually make this be uh, just one table with all of the dates in it, we could do that just like this by making the row larger and larger. The choice is ultimately yours. It's just going to come down to you getting better and better at utilizing this tool to your exact needs. Now, the next thing I have to say is that if you want to add more columns and rows, right click on the tool and you'll see this wonderful feature here that says add column to the right, add row below. I'm going to add a column to the right 
and check it out. We've added a column to the right. Now I added a column to the right of the cell I have selected, 123.25. Watch this, if I click 99,000, right click, add column to the right. Now it goes to the right of the 99,000. So when you do add columns, make sure you're selecting the cell that you want to add the column next, you know, to the right of that column. Now I did add this column by accident. I was trying to show you how to add the column over here to not disrupt the logical look and feel of this little trade tracker I'm building. But it's pretty easy to remove this because I can just right click in that cell and then do I have a column or a row? Well, obviously I want to delete the column because columns are going up and down, rows are going side to side. So if I'd clicked delete row, I would have deleted this row, which would have been a mistake. I want to delete the column going up and down. So here's another empty column, but I'm not going to delete that. Actually, what I think is interesting is why don't we actually add another column for some general notes about the trade? So we could write loved this entry. In this column, we could say, you know, looking to add. And in this column, we could say something like waiting. So now you've got a full table right here that you can copy, paste anywhere, move around on your chart as needed, and customize to your needs by adding more columns and more rows. All right, now it's time to get to the other good features about this tool, which are the customization capabilities. Now I'm just going to double click on the table and I'm going to move my settings menu over here and just make sure you fully understand that you, once again, like all drawing tools on TradingView, have some fantastic color features to make a table that fits your unique style, look and feel. So, you know, for this chart, I kind of like this dark blue. I'm going to use this sort of dark blue color here for this specific table. This is background. Now, I want the lines to actually be a little thicker. I really want to make sure that you can see that this is a table. So as you can see, I have a border option, which is by default set to this gray. But if I do white, now you just simply can't miss the table. Now, one thing that I have been noticing about this specific table is that it's a little larger than I would like. So naturally, I'm just going to change the color of the text to be brighter here. And then I'm going to change the font size to be a whole lot smaller. Now, it might be a little too hard for you to see, but for me, this looks great because now I've reduced the size of this table and I can shrink it down rather easily. And the best part here is that now effectively I can really move this with ease on a beautiful position on my chart. And let's just make sure we got this. Perfect. Now I can watch Bitcoin once again with these trades in mind. Now I'm not done. I want to double click this settings menu to show you a few more features. One of them is text alignment. Now watch the text here. So by default, it's going to be situated to the left of each cell within the table, but I can do center. I can do to the right. Once again, depending on the things you know you like to do, your specific design elements, you can customize this as needed. For now, I'm going to keep this to the left. To me, that just fits. It looks good. It's straightforward. It's easy to read. As always, visibility gives you the option to hide the table on different time frames. So right now, the table is showing up on all time frames, seconds, minutes, hours. But if I didn't want to see this table on daily charts, I only wanted to see it on minutes, I uncheck, and it's gone. But I click days, there it is. So this is the table tool. And a few other quick reminders about this table tool is that it works like all the drawing tools you're used to. Now, you may be familiar with the object tree, which is just a wonderful tool for tracking everything that you have on the chart. And I want to make sure that you take full advantage of the object tree when utilizing this tool as well. So if we open the object tree, we will see all of the drawings and objects that are on our chart. So watch this. If I do just make a circle here at this level, there's our brush. But the beautiful thing here is we can see our table here, which makes it easy for us to hide it. If we can't find it, for example, we can just select it here and now it's selected. So that's oftentimes helpful. You want to make sure you just select it quick, just click. You can lock it so that it just does not move in place. And the reason why that might be rather important for you is you just want to make sure that, that table sticks there and stays there, you know, no matter what. 
so you can lock it or unlock it. The choice is ultimately yours. And of course, you can delete it. So the object tree is another great way for you to manage it. You can even add it into a group. If you have multiple tables, you can make a group called table group. And you could go add another table. And now, of course, you've got two tables operating at once. Here are your trades. Why don't we change the colors on this table? And let's make this table fundamentally different because this table, you could say, let's make it this green color. This table will just be our sort of note taking journal. So we can write the date and maybe some, you know, some notes about the markets. Uh, let's maybe we're watching the stock market. Stocks hit all time highs. So now we've got multiple tables running. We've got the, our own trade table as well as our notes table. We can drag the table into the table group. Now we can rename them so that we fully know where they are. This is our notes table. And then if we click here, rename, this is our trading table. And now simply, simply put, you've created a really nice custom research process. So why don't we go ahead and hide them both? Let's get back to our analysis. We're looking at BTC. Let's check in on our entry, show it again. Here's our table neatly organized. Now this video is an introduction to the table tool. You can imagine many more updates are coming. You can be as creative with this as you like. I just wanted to demonstrate a notes table, a trading table, but you can really do a lot with it if you get creative beyond notes, beyond trading. You could track prices. You could track all sorts of things, volume data, the choice is ultimately yours. Just know that this custom drawing table tool is now available to you right here in the annotation tools menu. So I hope that this video helped you get started. As always, I'm Steph. I'm here providing educational content to everyone on TradingView, doing full walkthroughs. Our YouTube channel nearly has 250,000 plus subscribers. And we've also got a help center with endless educational material. And lastly, most importantly, we have several hundred videos on our YouTube channel that you can watch for more. So be sure to subscribe, follow along. We're always posting new content here to get you started and to help you out with all of the tools that come with your plan. Thanks for watching.